Okay, we're in section 19 of the homework. Again, my recommendation is to have the notes available to you. What notes are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the um, convergence of a series. So section 17 should be out, section 18 should be out, and section 19 should be out. All right, and you should be consulting that homework while you're doing the homework. All right, I'm gonna switch to the whiteboard. And, uh, whoops, sorry about that. The, um, I gotta switch to a whiteboard now. Give me one second here. Okay, let's look at the first question. And it says, apply the ratio test. And again, what I'd recommend you do is have the ratio test out. I'm gonna look at the notes too, and I'm gonna read it to you. The ratio test or, and the root test is the uh, section 19 of the notes. What are we basically doing? We're looking at um, a limit now. So. What, what are we given? We're given, I'll write the AN down for you. So the AN, the AN looking at this series over here is one over five to the N. And what I wanna do is, you know, you certainly have the root test out, I'm sorry, the ratio test out, and I need to write down AN plus one. That's fairly simple. And what's that gonna be one over five to the N plus one. Then what do I have to do? I have to do the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n plus one over a n. All right, let me see if I can do that. And I'm gonna do it on the side. I'm gonna put down, you know, a n plus one. I'll take the absolute value of it later over a n. Well, if I did that, that's one over five to the n plus one, and they get one over five to the n. If I were to simplify that, that would simplify to one fifth. And what's the absolute value of that is one fifth. Do mistakes happen all the time? Let's write this down. Limit is then goes to infinity of one fifth. What is that gonna be? One fifth. Now, what do I have? I have a number that's less than one. So what do I know about this original series? It's absolutely convergent. All right, let's look at the key. And I wanna read through the key on you. What I got over there, I wrote a n down. I did the limit, I got this, certainly less than one as you stated over there. So we say converges by the ratio test. We should note the convergence is basically it's a geometric series. I could have said that in the beginning, series converges by the ratio test, all right? Let's go to number two. And again, these should be relatively simple questions, at least starting out. So look at this one over here and looking at it, they do say use the ratio test. So looking at it, the first thing I wanna write down is AN. And again, your notes should be out. You're studying now. I'm gonna write down a n plus one. This is more complicated by the way. I'm gonna write down the ratio now. Whoops, I'm sorry about that. I forgot to put n plus one. So what I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna put down a of n plus one over a n. This is my little scratch work over there. I'm getting a little better at this now. So I'm gonna write down a n plus one, which is six over n plus one to the n plus one, and I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal of a n, which is n to the n over six. All right, and, and I realize it's tough. I, I gotta write this down though. And what do you get? The sixes cancel. So, and then you're gonna get n to the n over n plus one, n plus, I'm sorry, n plus one to the n plus one. So I'm gonna write this as one over n plus one times what would I get over there? N, and then I would get N plus one to the N. All right. So I, I make sure I did this right. Six is cancel. I get an N plus one factor, and then get N over N plus one to the N. Good. Again, I, I'm actually going to simplify a little bit more. And I'm going to write this as one over N plus one. And over here, I'm going to write this as uh, N, and I'm going to write down one. This would be one plus one over n, all right? Now I'm gonna take the absolute value of that and I'll write that down for you, that's pretty simple. The absolute value of this thing over here, we'll check the key later. I'm not saying we're done with it, but the absolute value of this is, well, if n's a positive number, everything's positive. So this is just gonna be really simple. It's gonna be one over n plus one. And then what do you get over here? One, one plus one over n to the n. And what do I have to do now? I can take a limit. Before I do that, though, I want to point out, I do want to make sure you're looking at what we're writing over here. 
So let's just make sure what I wrote down here is what I said. I did. The only difference is I noticed that over here they didn't write down that divide two by n, but that, that doesn't matter. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna do limit now. So limit as n goes to infinity of this nightmare over here. I, I got troubles over here. I'll tell you, you know, all kinds of indeterminate forms over here. And that, that second guy, if I do a limit of set guys, can be one to an infinity indeterminate form. So I'm just going to keep rewriting it until I, it becomes easier for me. And I'll write this down over here limit n goes to infinity, one over n plus one. And then I'm going to go back to that original form, which I believe was n over n plus one to the n. All right. Now, looking at that over there, it, it's it, it's still one to the infinity, and that's a problem for me, all right? So I guess what I would do over here is I'm still looking to do something. I, I don't want to like go to L'Hopital's rule yet unless I have to. So I'm going to write limit n goes to infinity. And then I would get, boy, this is tough, isn't it? I get one over n plus one to n plus one, and then I get n to the n. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm gonna write down another limit now. And I'm looking at it. And you only can do it just on the side. I'm gonna erase a little bit of my work now. And this can happen to you too. So there's just being exhausted or tired, whatever. But I'm going to do just this guy. I want to do that. I'm going to write this down. Limit. I'm going to say x goes to infinity. And I'm going to say x over x plus 1 to the x power. And again, I want to point out this is 1 to an infinity. So what I want to do is I want to just discuss things you've done in the past. All right, let me erase this over here. And I'm going to write this as y equals, whoops. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? I know this is frustrating, but I was going to say, do I have to do all that work? Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe take the natural log of all sides. I'm trying to get to L'Hopital's one. It's going to be x times the natural log, x over x plus 1. And then I write y equals e to a power. And the power is going to be, what's that power going to be? Well, it's going to be, and again, it's, it's a struggle. I, I'm not saying it's not a struggle. And I'm going to say this is really the same thing as limit as x goes to infinity. It's a struggle. I realize that. It's going to be e to the power natural log x over x plus 1. And this is 1 over x. And this is a little bit easier for me to do, by the way. And I'll point out what I mean by that. I'm looking at the limits e and e to a power. And these things over here, as x goes to infinity, this is the natural log of 1, which would be 0. And this would be the natural log. I'm sorry, natural log. This, this would also be 0. So I can actually use uh, L'Hopital's rule now. So I can put an H over here. Just to remind you, when you took Act 1, the teacher probably said, use an H there. And that, that's the big question. You know, can I do that? And I'll put it over here because I ran out of room over here. So let me erase that. All right. Let me erase this one too. So let's use L'Hopital's rule. It's tough though, right? Limit. It's going to be A. I'm taking... I'm doing the inside guy, right? So that's going to be one over um, x over x plus one. So it's going to be x plus one over x times, uh, and again, I'm taking derivative that, that top thing, right? So x plus one squared. This is my side work. x plus one times one minus x times one. So you get, let's see what you get. You get x, x plus one on bottom. Oh, it's a lot of work, isn't it? 
got this covered. But again, top, get one. I'm gonna write that over here. So you get one x x plus one. And what do you get on bottom? You'd get minus one over x squared, right? And what's that limit going to be? Well, if you go to infinity, that would be, you know, I got to simplify that too. Let me do that. That would be x squared minus, by the way, over x, x plus one. I got to simplify that. And that would be x minus x over x plus one. Let me get my erase right. It's, it's tremendous work for some students. So I realize that. And that would give me what? Minus one, right? So that limit's gonna be e to the minus one. Wow, a lot of work over there. So, so someone says all that work and you still don't know what you're doing. I do. But what do I know about that? This is just e to the minus one. Now, some says I could have recognized that from the beginning. And what's this thing over here? That's zero. So what's this limit over here gonna be? It's going to be zero, right? Let's go back over here. And I wanna point out, that we got it, we got the limit over here. And, and someone says, I, I still can't remember what all that work getting that. And it's tough. I'm not saying it wasn't tough. I got the limit and I said the limit was zero times e to the minus one, which we know to be zero. That's that's the limit. Let me see if I did that. It's right over here. All right. Now again, my recollection is you're studying, right? Mm -hmm. So look at it. And if I found the limit, yes, I have found the limit. Is it less than one? Yes. So what do I know? This converges by the ratio test. That was easy. All right, now that's saying low is easy, but the conclusion's easy. But right, let's do this one over here. And yeah, it says ratio tests. Well, let's put it down. Yeah, let's hope this is a little bit easier. Confidence builders, right? A n is a, a nine to the n over n, and a n plus one is nine to the n plus one over n plus one. Now, what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a n plus one over a n. Well, I'll get a little better at this. So it's going to be nine to the n plus one over n plus one, and I'm dividing by that. Uh, you know, uh, a n as well, the reciprocal, which would be n over nine to the n. And again, I'll take the absolute value later. But let's just do this. Put this down over here. This looks pretty simple. What do you get? You get nine. The absolute value of nine is nine, and then you get the absolute value of n over n plus one. And what's nice about that is n's a positive number, so it's always going to be positive. So what do I do now? Take a look at the limit. N goes to infinity of this ratio. And I can do that. I'm taking a limit of that over there. And what's that limit gonna be? Geez, that's nine. Now is nine less than one? No. Is nine greater than one? Yes. What does ratio test tell me there? Divergent. All right, let's go to the next page. And we'll look at the K. And I got this right over here, series diverges by the ratio test. All right, again, I'm just reading through this stuff and I'm, I'm trying to learn, you know? I'm, I've seen someone else do examples and I'm trying to learn by watching that person. That was me doing the example, by the way. Ratio test, let's put it down again, AN. And AN is N cubed. And that's gonna be, oh, this is gonna be tough. Two to the N plus, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. That's gonna be N squared, right? And what's an plus one? That's going to be n plus one cubed over two to the n plus one squared. Now put that over here. And I got to put this down now. And this is going to be n plus one cubed over two. I'm going to expand that. That's going to be n squared plus two n plus one times the reciprocal of a n, which is going to be two to the n squared over n cubed. I got to simplify that. And I got to do absolute value too, by the way, which almost seems pointless on these problems. They're all positive. So what do you get over here? You get n plus one over n cubed. That wasn't so bad. And then you're going to get one over two to the two n plus one. And what do I got to do now? I got to do the limit. Boy, these look familiar, don't they? So what's that gonna be? And let me write that down for you. This is gonna be equal to, and again, by the absolute values uh, of that, I've got written, that written down. So it's gonna be one plus one over N cubed 
times one over two to the two n plus one. Now, by the way, when I'm looking at these things, I wanna point out, I wanna make sure I'm looking at the same thing over here and because mistakes can happen. That's what you're doing. You're doing homework and you're looking at, you know, my key, my key that's all typed up for you. I think pretty good. What I gotta do is I gotta do limit now. And I'm gonna write it down. So one plus one over n cubed times one over two to the two n plus one. And what does that give you? Well, it looks like a fairly simple limit. You know, if the first factor goes to zero, right? One over n goes to zero, one cubed is one. And the second factor goes to zero. So I get zero. Now, of course, is zero less than one? Yes, it is. So I know the series converges. Right, let's look at what they got. And I got this over here, series converges by the ratio test. Let's do this one over here again, another ratio test problem. And again, it's, it's the fifth problem. I think I'm getting better, all right? I'll write this down. Limit as n goes to infinity, the ratio a n plus one over a n equals limit n goes to infinity. I think I can do that. Hope you realize it's all positive term. I'll write this one down. So it's gonna be six times 10 to the n plus one over two. Boy, this looks like deja vu, it's the same problem. No, similar though. So what do I get over there? Uh, that would be n plus one squared, right? So n squared plus two n plus one times reciprocal, that's two to the n squared over six times 10 to the n. Well, I'm gonna simplify, limit. And by the way, I'm not saying I can't get stuck. I get stuck all the time. So I look at something and say, can I try again? You can try as many times you like in homework. It's on exams you don't want to get stuck. That cancels off. We left over there 10. Boy, that was easy. I just did these two here. And then what I get, I get two to the two N plus one. We'll look at the key later. And this limit is zero. And is that less than one? Yeah. So the series converges. And what are we using? Ratio test. They told me to do that, by the way. Let's go to the next page and see if they got that. And I want to just go backwards, 10 over 2 to the 2 and Yeah, looks like we did all right. So we got everything. Ratio test. We're doing, we're doing all right. So this one says apply the, oh, ratio test again. That user are killing me with this. So let's put this over here. I'm going to write this down pretty quick. Limit. N goes to infinity. And absolute value in positive terms. I'm going to put the absolute value symbol down. So N plus 1 to the 50 over n plus one factorial times its reciprocal, which would be n factorial over n to the 50th. That looks crazy, but let's see if we can do it. n goes to infinity. What would that give you? Well, it would give you n plus one over n to the 50th power. Did okay there. And then n factorial over n plus one factorial would be one over n plus one. All right, let's take a look at it. I'm, I'm going to keep writing this down and let's see if we can do that. Limit n goes to infinity. This would be one plus one over n to the 50th times one over n plus one. Again, I'm looking at this over here and I, I, I want to point out, you know, we're getting the same thing. Yep, we're getting the same thing. Can I do the limit? I don't know. Let's take a look at it. Uh, the first factor is going to give me, you know, one plus zero to the 50th power. So it's one to the 50th, which is one. That's pretty simple. And the second factor would be zero, right? So this limit turns out to be zero. Is zero less than one? It sure is. What do I know? Series converges by the ratio test. All right. We're doing homework here that I want to point out. It's already written up for you. I'm just practicing what I already know. On exams, though, you need to write stuff down. And that's the reason we write stuff down for you. It isn't like a, a mystery of things are written down for you. All right. Let's see this one over here. And it looks kind of complicated, but I, I got to be honest with you. I think I can do it. I can use ratio test, I'm practicing. So limit, n goes to infinity, positive term series, by the way. So n plus one factorial over two to the n plus one times a reciprocal two to the n over n factorial. And again, I'm getting, it, I'm getting the feel for this now, provided it's not too difficult. What do you get n plus one over two? Wow. What's that limit? It's infinity. Is that greater than one? It is. 
this series diverges. Let's go to the next page, see how we did. And I'm seeing it. And the original series diverges by the ratio test. All right, good deal. Let's keep going. Ratio test, ooh, doesn't look good, but I can do it. At least I can try to do it. So limit, n goes to infinity. This is gonna be five over four n plus four factorial times four n factorial over five. Well, the fives cancel off, but I got troubles with the factorial. So I gotta write this down. And you're gonna get, you know, four n factorial. On bottom, you get four n plus four factorial, which is four n plus four, four n plus three. Might seem like overkill to you. Four n plus two. Whoa, does this ever stop? Four n plus one, and then I'd get four n factorial. So I hope you realize that these are canceling off. And what's that limit gonna be? Zero. Now was zero less than one? Yes, I know the series converges. Again, the work is down over here, and I'm saying the series converges by the ratio test. All right, let's keep going. You got number nine. And again, homework, once you master the material, I'm not gonna say typing it up would be fast for you, but it is typed up for you. And for a reason, we'd like you to look at the typeset work. We would, and aim for that at some point in your career goal. So limit is your positive term series, uh, n goes to infinity, and it's gonna be n plus one factorial raised to the fifth power over five n plus five factorial times five n factorial over n factorial to the fifth power. All right, I can be honest with you. I, I don't think I could do that looking at it. Now, somebody says, I, can, I think I can, I think I can do it, but I, I wanna recommend you, you kind of, you know that I have to simplify that. So I know I have an n plus one factorial over an n factorial, that's raised to the fifth power. And what would that give me? Just n plus one to the fifth power. So I'll write that down. I think I can handle that. And I gotta do this other guy, which is really kind of creepy looking. So it's five n factorial. Make sure I copy that right, yep. And what's on bottom? It's gonna be five n plus five, five n plus four, five n plus three. Oh my God, it's never gonna stop. Five n plus two, it does stop by the way. Five n plus one. Well, boy, what do you get now? Five n factorial, so this would cancel off. So I got something that looks pretty nice over here. And so I don't know what you're talking about. It looks nice, looks bad to me. I'll write down what we're given. We're giving this over here. And what do you get over there? 5n plus 4, 5n plus 3, 5n plus 2, and 5n plus 1, right? And what were you told to do in Math 119 is divide by the highest degree variable. In this case, it would be n5. I hope you realize if you did that, the limit at the top would be one and the limit of the bottom would be five times five times five times five times five, which is five to the fifth power. Is that less than one? Yes. So this series is convergent. Let's go to the next page, see how we did and see if we did good. I'm seeing all the work down here. I'm pretty comfortable with that. I'm seeing the limit is written down and it converts by the ratio test. All right, this one's it's gonna require me to read it and the, the bottom line is it says over here, it says, you know, uh, the limit of a n over a, uh, a n plus one over a n is one six. I see that. Then they say b n is equal to this over here. And they say apply using a ratio test. So I can use ratio test this over here. And I don't know if I can do it, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll write it down. So it's going to be b n plus one over b n absolute value. Well, let's see if we can write that down. And what's Bn going to be? Uh, that, that's pretty easy to write down. It's 5n times An. And the other one's going to be, let's see, 5 to the n plus 1 times a n plus 1. All right. So, you know, what do I have to do? I got to take its limit. And I don't know if I can do that. It looks pretty crazy. Limit as n goes to infinity. 
of this thing over here. And I'll look at it. And I, again, I'm looking at this over here now. And that's just going to be five, right? Times the absolute value. Well, I got to look at it. Oh, it's one sixth. So what do you give here? Five times one sixth. What does that give you? Five sixths. Is five six less than one? It sure is. So what do I know about this thing over here? Series convergence. This work is written down over here for you. It says the series converges. All right, let's keep going. Uh, this one's number 11. Uh, it's nightmarish. I'm not going to say it's not, but I think I can handle it. And it says use a root test. And I, again, I want to point out, it's really important you read these things. And someone says, why are they using a root test now? Well, I'm seeing that it's the nth root would take care of that seven to the end to me. So let, let's write the root test down. Now, granted, I realized, you know, when I say you, you're using your notes, we're in section 19 where the root test was introduced to you. You know, let's write it down. And the root test, I'm, I'm going to write this down, limit. N goes to infinity. Now, the nth root of this thing over here, and I'll write it over here for you. This is one over seven to the N. And the nth root is one over N. I prefer to write that then than write the, then write down the way it's in your notes like this over here. So let's see if we can do that. Well, the absolute value symbol comes off. First of all, let me make sure I copy it right. I'm sorry, it's not that. I made a mistake and I have to erase it. Let me get my eraser out. Sorry about that. It's N to the seven N. All right, so I, 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 have to, I have to do work. And this is gonna be limit and goes to infinity. And the absolute value of that just simply one over N to the seven N and one over N. And what would this give me? Let's write it down, limit and goes to infinity. This would give me one over N to the seventh now. And what does this give me? It gives me zero. Now, again, is that less than one? It is, what do we know? Series converges. All right, let's look at the K, see how we did. And I think I did it, yeah, got it, one over in. Yeah, I got it over here. All the work is down over there. Again, we're doing homework, root circuit, root test. Let's look at B and let's see if we can do that one. I don't know, let's take a look at it. Again, it's still the root test, all right? They're saying root test on that. And we're practicing all we're doing. So let's say limit, as n goes to infinity. And what are we doing over here? The nth root of the a n term, it's a positive thing, so it's one seventh. That's pretty simple. And again, it's simple that we're using the root test. And what's this limit gonna be? One seventh. And again, that's written over there. Is it less than one? Yes, it is. So it converges by the root test, all right? Let's do this one over here. Again, the root test, I'm getting a little better at it. Limit, because again, they do say the root test over here and goes to infinity. And what do you get over there? Let's take a look at it. The nth root of that is really simple. It's gonna be N over N plus 15. Can I do that limit? Yep, and it's one. Now, unfortunately, what happens over here, the root test is inconclusive now. It's inconclusive. So it says apply the root test term to converge to the series and state that the test is inconclusive. It is, it's inconclusive. It's an inconclusive test on it. Now, I wonder if they asked me to do anything else, but let's go over here. Maybe there's another question later on, but it says the root test is conclusive for that series. That's what they asked you to do, we did it. All right, so let's do this one over here and it says apply the root test and this one over here. I don't know, let's take a look at it. Limit and goes to infinity. We'll do the root test, not so bad. What do you get N? and you get 4n plus three. And again, positive term series, right? So I could start at one and go forward. I probably should start at one, but let's not worry about it. What's this limit over here? A quarter. Now by the root test, what are we saying over here? Well, this is definitely less than one. So we're saying the series converges. By the way, there may be some issues over here with n equals zero but let's not worry about that. It's the first term. I guess I could, I could determine limit what, what that would be in the limit, but let's not worry about that. We know after that, it's all a positive term series, all right? So that covers out that section. And again, I know this can be quite stressful. 
You said there's so many tests, I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Summarize them, write them down. Maybe take my notes, maybe take a little scissor out and paste it on one sheet of paper or look at my notes. Maybe there's a summary somewhere in my notes for you. Who knows? All right, thank you for paying attention. Again, if you need additional help, please come by during office hours. I'll be more than happy to help you.